The Federal Reserve concluded its two-day policy meeting, the last one before the November election, on Wednesday by pledging to keep interest rates near zero until 2023, as the central bank looks to continue to support the U.S. economic recovery out of the coronavirus recession. Well-anchored interest rates enhance our ability to meet both employment and inflation objectives, particularly in the new normal, in which interest rates are closer to their effective lower bound even in good times, Powell said. The policy prescription is as expected, but the Fed's economic projections look too optimistic, says Ron Temple, head of U.S. equities at Lazard Asset Management. Recent economic data have been good, but deceleration is evident even before taking into account rising risks related to fading fiscal stimulus, election uncertainty, and rolling waves of the pandemic as we enter flu season. The Federal Reserve has so far taken unprecedented steps to support the economy through the coronavirus pandemic. The central bank has pumped trillions of dollars into the financial system through bond purchases and a slew of emergency lending facilities to keep businesses afloat. Although the economy has partially recovered from its steepest downturn ever, with data showing signs of improvement, coronavirus continues to pose problems by keeping unemployment rates high. Temporary extra jobless benefits have started to run out and much-needed additional stimulus from Congress looks to be stuck in a political stalemate. Dow jumps 150 points after Federal Reserve announces new approach to inflation Forbes The Fed just announced a major inflation policy change. Here's why that matters Forbes full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.